there are five predominant career traps that we set that are totally caused by our own irrational fears. This list is sure to surprise you and prayerfully enlighten you. Hi, my name is Sean Summerkamp, and this is Motivationeer Christian Coaching. Second Timothy 1.7 says, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power. With that in mind, here are the five career traps set by fear. Trap number one, making mistakes is bad. Fear of making mistakes in your career can do way more damage than you realize. Not only will such anxiety dampen your greatest strengths, it will prevent you from doing your most creative work. Keeping a rational frame of mind by envisioning reasonable outcomes justifies prudent risk taking. Herodotus said the following 450 years before Christ. It is better by noble boldness to run the risk of being subject to half the evils we anticipate than to remain in cowardly listlessness for fear of what might happen. Trap number two, constant success is good. To be a versatile asset to any team, it is good to constantly try to reach beyond your traditional role and your abilities. This is where you wanna stretch yourself, push yourself for more. If you are always succeeding, you're just gonna become what I call a workhorse. Workhorses are important to a company because not only do they get the job done, they can keep taking on more and more. And this becomes the expectation, which is the key. They are expected to work harder and harder. They can't, by very nature of being a workhorse, ever exceed expectations. In order to exceed expectations, we want to become what I call a show horse. Show horses are the professionals in a company that bosses love to brag about up their chain of command. Show horses realize that success means willingly taking on much higher visibility projects and risking humiliation for the sake of the company. And as a result, show horses advance their careers rapidly. Trap number three. Putting in more hours is the answer. Many people spend way too much time forcing outcomes by working longer hours. It is really important to realize that sometimes the answer will come by taking a prayer break. If you're baffled by a situation that you just can't seem to figure out, go get a cup of coffee, take a walk around the office and pray. Ask God for the wisdom. James 1.5 says, that God will give it to you without discrimination, and you'll do so generously, which means the answer will come to you without having to spend needless hours inefficiently pounding your head against the wall. In a corporate culture that loves to grind the gears, you can maximize your performance by taking the time to pray to God for wisdom. Trap number four, self-reliance is highly valued. This mindset leads us to thinking that we should be able to solve every problem on our own. The Pareto Principle says that 80% of your time is spent on 20% of your problems. Afraid to look needy or incapable is merely pride, and it will keep us from asking for help when we're stumped or when we're falling a little short. When we ask for assistance and humility, we can find a much quicker resolution. Fear of looking weak or stupid keeps us from accessing our available resources. Remember, no matter who you work for, you are part of a team. Ask for help. People really love to. Just remember to thank them for their assistance. And finally, trap number five, it's either God or my career. This means you believe in order to succeed within your company, you have to give in to worldly decision-making. It is okay to fail at a company that does not share your Christian ideals. And there is no such thing as failure. It'll just be failure in their eyes. It's not okay to allow an unscrupulous company to affect your relationship with God. As Christians, we are called to work in all things as if working for the Lord. 
So if you find your employer is encouraging unprincipled behavior, it really may just be time to leave. After all, a professional speed bump can be easily overcome but an internal relationship with God is never worthy of being risked. And please don't forget to watch the video on this channel called Is Christianity Opposed to Career Ambition? I do a much deeper dive into that topic. And don't forget, consider a membership on my website, motivationear.com. You will have access to a host of additional content, including many, many, many more videos where I specifically focus on a series I call the Client Tools Used series. These are tools that I use within my one-on-one -on -one relationships with my executive coaching clients. I go over how to use them so you can benefit as well. That content will never appear on YouTube. You can only access through a membership on my site. And it's a very tiny little fee annually. Please go check it out and thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for two new videos each week. Tell me in the comments below about your career situation and I'll make a video for you with a shout out. You can also become a member at motivationear.com. Your career is not just a way to make a living, it's a way to transform the world.